What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Foxy Tara. I am here to give the zodiac sign Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising their seven day zodiac forecast. Okay, this is for the week of February 15th to the 21st. Okay. All right. Okay, Libra, what did y'all are holding on to something? Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have contract in reverse. Okay, and then starting off the week is the world card in reverse. So, it, it, it this feels like something that you're not, um, either you're, you're continuously on, um, on a repetitive cycle. Okay. It's like you, you keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results, but you're not seeing it. You're just hurting yourself more and more and more. All right, so Monday we have the world card in reverse. keep playing patty cake with the devil you 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 keep you're doing you're doing something over and over and over and expecting different results okay and this could this could possibly mean um you being either involved in a third in a third party situation but this this situation is extremely toxic okay so monday it's it's like you you don't you you keep doing the same things over, but you're expecting different results, and this is a is a toxic habit of yours. Okay, with this, what spirit is telling me that this is a toxic habit of yours, and you also need to turn around and cut yourself out of this toxicity. You know, for some of you, this is a habit that you have over and over and over of doing, and it's not it, it's not creating any type of harmony or stability, or um you keep. You keep um, involving yourself in people and connections that do not serve your higher purpose. For others of you, this could possibly mean a toxic relationship that you keep um, keep investing in, and you keep um, expecting different results. But you you're not gonna have a victory with the devil. All right, Angel. Uh, and for Tuesday, we have Angel of Strength in Reverse. And here, look at this. You're coming on your own reading. Queen of Swords in Reverse. You're um. You're not, you're not, you're mentally, you're not, you're, you're conflicted on Tuesday, okay? And I think um, this has to do with your confidence level. I'm feeling this is, this has a lot to do with your confidence level and you not um, feeling like you have, um, you're, you're, you're not, you're not gaining the strength and the courage to separate yourself from this love situation, Okay. And also, I feel like this is what you need to start strengthening yourself with giving yourself love. You need to start, you need to start loving on yourself a little bit more harder come Tuesday. Okay? You have the nine of wands up. Like you're you're super defensive and you have your wall up. And you are you have you you have to place like healthier boundaries. This I feel like this is telling you like you need to have your wall up and place healthier boundaries against against this person. Wednesday we have community. Like I said, some of y'all could have been involved in a third party situation or found out about a third party situation, or um, the other part of you this is involved in the company that you keep. So Wednesday we have community. What is the spirit guys? Community, community, community. Spirit guys and angels.
Okay. It's time for you to start um, working on your stability. Okay, you need to start surrounding yourself with um, uh, people who can help get your mind off of this heartbreak that did not work out. This whole love situation that went sour, okay? You need to start aligning yourself with people who actually um, can help you along your healing process. Because Queen of Pentacles, are, this is you. you. You're working on your growth. You're surrounding yourself with, with, um, with individuals who help contribute to, you, to your growth, to help you get off of, um, to help get your mind off of this heartache that happened okay you are now starting a whole new chapter and it's not with this person okay you could be dealing with um a gemini or an aquarius or just an or just a fellow air sign okay you have decided to not begin a new chapter with this person okay thursday we have the um broken heart thursday thursday Okay, so although although um Thursday you it's like you have the residual energy of um being you know heartbroken over this you're going through the emotions on Thursday on Thursday you're going through the emotions okay so you're you're now like looking out you're looking out at what the world actually has to offer you and you're not looking at any type of um. Any type of offerings that are coming in, possibly maybe from a Scorpio or um, a Pisces, you're not looking at any offers coming in. If someone is trying to come in with a love offer, you're not. You're more so focusing on watering your own garden, and you're like you're 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 looking forward to the single life because you know that this is going to bring you happiness. You know you're you're in pursuit to, to happiness. Saturday we have the victory in reverse. If you're trying, okay, let me tell you something. Saturday with the victory card in reverse, if you're trying to be sneaky in regards to something, don't do it, okay? Make the choice to be the bigger person, all right? This, um, may, or maybe you're trying to cut cut them out of possibly maybe a deal. This other person who is possibly maybe like the father of your, um, could be the father of your children or just like a father figure in general or just on some uh, like an air sign, but... Do not make the choice to be sneaky about go about going about a victory or trying to take karma into your own hands. Okay. Do not do not try to take karma into your own hands. Or if someone this could be someone trying to be sneakily towards you, they're not going to have a victory. Okay, so Friday. Saturday we have um, envy in reverse envy in reverse what is this envy in reverse Saturday, do not sit here and worry about what other people got going on, okay? With the envy card in reverse, don't worry too much about what's on everybody else's plate, okay? Worry about your own. Worry about, worry about how far you've come. 
worry um, more so focus on what you have in front of you, how far you came and what you came out of. Okay, release any type of any any type of negative thoughts, any type of self sabotaging thoughts, any type of thoughts where you feel like you're lacking of. Let that go. Okay, with the envy in reverse for Saturday, you have to turn around and let go of where you feel like you're lacking thereof because other people are having X Y Z. Because not everything is what it seems to be on the outside. So focus on your abundance and things that you have now that is that you are surrounding yourself with. Sunday, we have the third um, chakra archangel, Shemiel. So let's see. What is this Shemiel card? Yeah, you need, um, Sunday is self-care day. Sunday is self-care day. And Sunday is the day where you, um, you I feel like you're recovering. Okay, you're, you're recovering from from this okay you you might you might feel like you're alone you might feel like you're alone because of um yeah this sunday is self-care okay with the hierophant in reverse this is this is calling for you to work on um like your inner self your spirituality okay getting getting your emotional mental and um spiritual everything in balance because right now if you want if you want answers you want questions you need to make sure your solar plexus are, are are popping and you have to have like that strength that confidence okay so that way you can receive these downloads that are coming in from the higher ups so you may feel like you're alone because you don't have anyone around you right now. That's how you feel. You may feel like you're alone, but you are not lonely, okay? Spirit guides are telling you, like, they're telling you that you're not lonely, but you have to you have to get out of the get out of this mentality that you feel like you're alone because this is the time that you have to start replenishing your cup, replenishing the love. You have to start focusing on your self-love, your self-care for Sunday. Sunday is your self-care day. Sunday is self-care. So let's see what the advice, the overall advice for the week. Okay, the signs that I got are Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, um, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius. Libra. Alright, what is the advice for Libra? What is the overall advice for the week of February 15th to the 21st for Libra? Unique my uniquely myself. I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and soul path. Appreciation. Appreciating the good that exists here. And my here and now expands my awareness to all that is good in the universe and my creative power as i invest in my own creative potential i experience my female creative genius um creative genius yeah so with these cards uniquely myself okay trust that this person that you are becoming is 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 something that will how can i put it the person that you are becoming will um will help will help be very beneficial to you for the future okay because i feel like like libra like this um this heartbreak whatever it is that you went through that was disappointing it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't have to be love it could be you know any situation that you was with that actually took a toll on you that transmute that and turn it into creativity because this, this, what this is feeling like, this change that's happening and is not involving this air sign, okay, is going to allow you to have a creative burst of energy to start finding about different things about yourself, okay? So you have to appreciate this. Appreciate what has happened and what has transpired and appreciate that, that this contract is no longer... Is, is no, it has expired and it's no longer um something that suits you because it's going to push you into the direction that um 
that will that will definitely turn around and and allow the world to see the beauty like this i feel like this is going to push you back onto the right track so that way you can actually be yourself have a victory and you you start aligning more with yourself and more with people that are in alignment with you so appreciate that love and light